Hello everyone and welcome back to the Realistic Farming Channel for Farming Simulator 19 where we use realistic equipment, we use real tr tractors, real equipment, and realistic tutorials and we have a real lot of fun. Sorry if I sound like I'm stumbling over my words because I'm just recording two videos back to back. My intros to my time lapses, I love them. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing fantastic. It's the price of being a YouTuber. You get get all messed up and you start getting videos ahead a little bit and you get confused. But let me get up in the air and I'll give you a real tour. The last one was a super quick one because I just kind of went over it. And this one... Whoops. That, that, that. Alright, so on this episode, we go ahead and we seed. This is now seeded in grass. You guys can see 100% fertilized, 100% plowed, 100% limed. 17.54 acre field of grass uh, As I stated in the other video my entrance this one is you'll see up in the corner that it says 12 p.m Because I'm literally recording back-to-back -back videos uh, Entry or er, intro videos. Sorry this one. We also purchased this field and we started mowing it So that was exciting to get that finished up in the next episode uh, as you can see, we have now a well-defined field, and it's kind of awesome in a way because it forces you to do headlands. It really does. It, it's tight. You can't use... I might have to switch my equipment down to a little bit smaller because uh, 12 to 15 meter equipment is kind of tricky to get around here. You'll see in the video how I started out where I was just going to go back and forth here. But then I got thinking, all right, in real life... You wouldn't drive over something that's seated again. But the way that I did this field, it kind of... You have to. But, but, but... I really like the definition of the field. I really like how it came out. I like defining the fields instead of having... I've done so many Let's Plays on, on uh, fields that are ginormous. I got a little space there. I got to close that up. I'll do that next episode. And you'll see these hedges can be a pain. I had a little bit of trouble through here. This is all freshly planted or painted grass through here and I had to actually do some extra terraforming because what happens is it will not let you put any placeable even with the place anywhere mod it will not let you put any placeable next to something that is too close to being terraformed like the edge of the map right here. I can't go I can't do anything past this. I can fly up into the store, but on the ground, I'll show you real quick. See, that's as far as I can go. That's it. I must have had the paintbrush over here a little bit wider, because that's as far as I can go. But, as you guys can see, I won't keep you guys too long. Oh, I also went ahead and, as promised, finished this. And I was going to originally just put dirt underneath the fence. You'll see it in the time lapse. But I was going to, and then I realized that grass looks so much better, like underneath the fence posts, it just looks better. I went ahead and built this uh, little shed here for our pallets. So the farm build is coming along very nicely. I think it goes well with, you know, uh, pallets are quite expensive in real life, so you would want them close to your house. At least we always did. And I went ahead and we purchased another tractor. And so these are our tractors for our farm. We have the Case. The Case Magnum 380. 435 horsepower. We have the Dog. 380 horsepower. And we have the Work Horse White. Uh, with, a, with a Case IH motor in it. And that one is 202 horsepower. With only a back implement attached. This only has a back implement attached. This has a front and a back. And we have our mower, and I went ahead and I purchased a the Manitou uh, tail handler. Also purchased the bag handler, and the bag handler is going to be strictly for pallets. And then we're going to have our uh, bale fork. And that's just about it, everyone. I hope everybody is doing fantastic, because I am. I am really, really enjoying this series. This is so much fun to... Uh, try to make this whole entire map flat it's a really cool it's a cool concept it's cool fun and i'm having a blast and the time lapses make it easier because as everyone knows i time lapse at night because 
uh, where my dining room is located, it picks up a lot of noise. And even though I have a nice sure microphone and I have the, the noise gate and all the noise suppression turned all the way down, uh, I just don't want to risk picking up, you know, wife watching the TV. Plus, when I'm talking, I tend to talk very loud as most of my recordings come across. And I don't want to bother my wife. So I record late at night. And I'm really just, the time lapses give me a chance to record my videos early. And that's why, my apologies, why I got ahead. Um, and that's the only reason, because I was like, oh, I could just record another one. This is driving me nuts. I got to do this real quick on camera so I can get this done. It drives me nuts when I get so busy and I leave my sheds open. It's like a pet peeve of mine. All right, without further ado, roll that time lapse.